Hey guys, this is Bharat Vaz with PhoneArena.com and this is the Xiaomi Mi 4. Yes, we have got the latest flagship device from the Chinese manufacturer Xiaomi who recently launched the Mi 3 in India but soon after they launched the Chinese and the international variant of the Mi 4 in China. For the Chinese market, it will eventually roll on to other markets but obviously we couldn't wait. We got one from a company called iBuyGoo.com as you can see the sticker here and at the back these guys ship internationally and that's how we got the Chinese variant of the Mi 4 so obviously we, could, we couldn't wait to check out the flagship device especially after uh, taking a look at the Mi 3 which is a really really good device so anyway we're going to take a look at the device first look at the device this is the first time we're going to take a look and we'll show you the hardware and the software and give our first impressions. So that's what this video is going to be about. Let's go ahead into the unboxing and a first look at the Xiaomi Mi 4. So let's quickly take a look at the highlights. This is a typical Xiaomi box made for e-commerce and all that. So over at the back you can see the highlights of the specs. So it has the MSM 8274AC Snapdragon 801 chipset the Mi 3 Indian version is AB so this is 2.5 gigahertz it has support for LTE and it has 3 gigs of RAM 1080p screen 5 inch IPS pretty much the same as the Mi 3 uh, and uh, of course 8 megapixel front facing camera BSI and 13 megapixel rear facing camera uh, that's the XMAR RS from Sony that's uh, most probably the IMX 214 sensor Android 4.4 KitKat 3000 mAh battery you have 3G support and of course GSM2 and then uh, you have the other things here pretty much the same as there uh, but you also have the 16GB uh, EMMC that's the variant we got so it ships uh, for around uh, $399 or something in uh, US dollars the actual price is around $322 it's around 20,000 rupees and uh, hopefully we'll get to see this device in the same price range when it launches in India. So that's about it for the highlights. Let's uh, of course take a look at the device right away. There you go, that's the device sitting on top and it has a very thin bezel. That's the first thing that uh, we can notice here and of course metal over the sides there is metal with chamfered edges just like uh, the iPhone uh, it looks very very good very nicely done uh, the Mi 3 was fully plastic you can see the difference here that's the Mi 3 and that's the Mi 4 this is plastic and this is metal and the difference definitely shows so the design of the Mi 3 was pretty much like the Nokia N9 while the Mi 4 looks a bit like the iPhone of course and especially with the bands here the metal uh, has the plastic bands that improves antenna reception and uh, over at the top you have so, so anyway let's uh, quickly go through it I just uh, skipped the other parts so over the front you have the 5 inch 1080p screen that's the 1080p IPS screen here three capacitor shortcuts they have uh, been slightly remodeled this looks like what it looks on the Mi Pad, a square back in the contextual menu, that's the home button of course. And over at the right, as you already saw, the power button and the volume rocker. Over at the top, this looks like an IR LED and of course, this is the 3.5mm audio jack. Over at the left, you have the SIM card slot. So there is no micro SD card slot or a removable battery or a removable back cover on this phone. Just like the Mi 3, this is the micro SIM card slot hopefully not like uh, the Mi 3 uh, which had a full SIM slot uh, this is the micro USB port again reinforced uh, and this is obviously the speakers over at the back you have some sort of protection for the 13 megapixel camera let's uh, take that out so that's the 13 megapixel camera with a single LED flash and the secondary microphone it is glossy plastic at the back or possibly that's uh, uh, protection cover or it, it is not it is just uh, glossy plastic on the back that's the me logo at the bottom and over the front actually 
I forgot to mention this is a 8 megapixel front facing camera above the display earpiece and a couple of sensors so anyway let's take the protective uh, covers out and start up the phone because the UI is going to be pretty interesting to see so let the phone boot for a while we'll just quickly take a look at the box contents of the Mi 4 so opening up here you can see that it's pretty much standard uh, what we got with the Mi 3 is exactly what we are getting with the Mi 4 too. So that's the micro USB cable. I, I don't think it really needs explanation. And uh, this is the charger. Let's take it out. That's the charger. The rating should be written here somewhere. There you go. That's the charger with, I don't know what rating. So anyway, that's the USB plug. And of course, you have got the SIM ejector tool here and a bunch of booklets for the user manual and the warranty and all that. It's all in Chinese, so it's pretty useless right now. So that's it for the box contents. Let's take a look at the phone. So while booting, I just want to mention that the bezel is extremely thin. This is almost G2 levels. Uh, this was uh, shown off in renders but we didn't really believe it to be that thin but it does look great here in this implementation especially with a, a black band around it so that's the UI this is exactly the same as the Mi 3 so this is uh, Mi UI V5 on top of Android 4.4.2 so that's pretty pretty much exactly the same with the Mi 3 and the Mi 4 both running on the same version of the UI you can see over here in the about section that's the about page uh, you can see the difference between the Mi 3 and the Mi 4 in terms of the capacitive shortcuts here it's slightly changed let's uh, zoom in a little here so this has the Android version 4.4.2 and this too has the same this has Android 4.4.4 actually. So that's the main difference here. So let's uh, quickly uh, get the backlight to a normal level so you can see better. So there you go, that's 4.4.4 on the Mi 4 while it's 4.4.2 on the Mi 3. So there should, shouldn't be many differences the version 5 is almost exactly the same as before. Lots of new features in 4.4.2 uh, KitKat based uh, MIU, MIUI V5. Uh, we'll discuss that later but today MIUI V6 is launching and it will launch for the Mi 4 too. So we'll be taking a look at this uh, MIUI V6 in detail. It looks a lot like iOS 7. We already saw some glimpses of it on the Mi Pad but it'll be interesting to see how uh, better or uh, how it is exactly so you can see that also the phone comes with play store which is really interesting because this is a chinese variant and we didn't really expect play store to be there uh, it is shipped from china but this is possibly the international variant so anyway that's a quick look at the mi 4 a really good looking device and uh, has all the uh, flagship quality to it pretty much very very premium and also the price of course that's the uh, one of the best things about xiaomi devices so anyway that was a quick look at the hardware and the software of the xiaomi mi 4 do let us know what you think in the comment section below do hit the like button if you like this video and hit the subscribe button here if you want more videos like these thanks for watching